fucked up, man. What's going on, ladies? Hello, Trevor. What kept you? Business, Michael. Business. Uh, All right? I'm the CEO of a big international corporation. It's very time-consuming. Nothing, of course, you'd understand, being a gentleman of leisure. Uh -huh. You know, you know, Franklin, <laughs> if there's one thing that you're gonna learn from being around us... Please it's just fucking insanity. Then they can't fry you. If you want something done, go to the busy man. This rich fuck is useless. Oh, oh, ho, hold on, man. Could y'all knock this shit off? Oh, look! Boys, your boys, it's the feds. Hey, where's the other three? What other three? We told you to bring along six. This is a six-man job. No, you didn't. You, Dave did? No, Dave didn't. You said you'd do it. That is a freaking lie. I do not get things wrong. All right, great. Then we're out of here. Uh, uh, Fuck uh, it. Uh, uh, Let's go. You three can do it alone. And die? Fuck you. You do your own dirty work. Hey, I do my dirty work every day, keeping the country safe from scum like you. And you're doing a great job, sir. Hey, you want this job done? Then come with us, huh? Come on. Come on, Mr. Leisure Wear, Mr. Depressed Accountant. Let's go save America. Who the fuck are we saving it from this time? This is the real deal. My sources are convinced there's a plot in international affairs, you know, the agency, and they're using this facility to make a serious nerve toxin. Ah, <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, which they plan in their mind-blowing insanity to let a major terrorist release on a metropolitan area so they can continue to get funding. Nothing increases funding for fighting terrorism more than successful acts of terrorism. <laughs> all, right, so, so, all right, so let me get this straight then. No, 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 there is no getting it straight. That's the point. Now we're doing this. You two are on getaway. Fuck off and make it happen. Michael, you're with us. What size flipper you wear? Agent Orton. Been a while since you were in the field. The sight of you in neoprene is something we say for our worst enemies. Shut up, I'll be fine. And you, get in. You're driving. Go down the coast. The facility's a few clicks south of us. Listen to me, Steve. No wisecracks, got it? No fucking cliches. We're fighting for the freedom of the people today. Don't lecture me on patriotism. You've been living outside the system too long. Social responsibilities, a joke to you. So maybe I redeem myself, get killed in the process, huh? That old bullshit. No one is dying on my watch. This is the bay. We can get in through the discharge tunnel. Here comes.
So, you got any more little facts for me from the instruction manual? Thought you'd want some intel on the equipment we sourced using your hard-won funds. Ha! I figured it was all gonna go on a wardrobe full of windbreakers. Oh, and maybe some nipple clamps. Do this. Come on, Dave. What's the plan? Hey, hey, hey. We locate the toxin and action our escape strategy. That's what we got. Great. <laughs> Lead the way. Ink robber, set your phaser to stun. Hands up, you, now! Against the wall, quick! No, wait! Hey! Knock him out, tell me. <laughs> let's go, let's go! Hands where I can see him. You're making a big mistake, buddy. Void his bowels, bank robber. Okay. Now hit the elevator. So what exactly does a neurotoxin look like? You're on a need-to-know basis, bank robber. Shut it. Elevator coming. Body on board. Stay vigilant. Out, out, out! Easy now, easy now. Please, don't! You got clearance, give it up! Please don't hurt me! Give up your access card! Get the pass! <laughs> now, up! How you feeling about this? I feel pretty damn fine. Yeah, if only your camera crew was here. Eyes right, stay on top of this. Clear, let's go. Two lab geeks, gotta deal with them. Excuse me. This is a secure research environment. Don't fuck with me. <gasps> you can't kill me. I did six college degrees. Zap this guy, Michael. You shot him. They're down. Let's go. Corridor goes around to the left. Behind the wall. Security detail about to make a pass. This is them. Take them out or let them go. Oh my god! So bad! Be gone. We've got some time. Here's the card on that swiper. There's a lab rat in with the toxin. Let's do this. Give us access. Who are you people? Door can only be triggered internally. What's that? 
I'm on it. Nerdface worth. Open up. The special agents have the door. Go in there and secure our nerve agent. Move it. Move it. This will make me the most dangerous man in the country. I'm also the most shit scared. Oh man. Thank you, federal government. These scientists have done enough good work for today. Put them to sleep. Damn it! We need to get the nerve agent into a refrigeration unit. Security alert! Security alert! Facility breached. You got the right weapon? The ship's about to get real! Agency security! I'll kill you! Put orders on you! Bring Wait. it to them!
Bridge is ready. Get over here, man. I can't believe they spent the tank from the Polito job on this chopper. It's a flying pig rig. And we need a flying pig rig right now. So the chemical weapon in there, right? If it even is a chemical weapon, hell, it could be shaving cream for all I know. By the way, next time you're getting wet, wet. Oh, there won't be a next time, time will there, David? David? There never is. is. I'll do my best for you. I always try. Yeah, well, maybe this time we'll get lucky. Maybe this time Steve will succumb to the strains of enhanced interrogation techniques. Interrogate him? Are you insane? They're probably decorating him right now. Hey, David, your boys at the agency are on to you, remember? Huh? You and Stevie. Just try and keep your heads down. Yeah, putz. What is this? Oh, fucking A. Yes! What's up, man? My days in the wilderness are over. Lester, he settled up with that crazy Mexican motherfucker. Gave him the artifact. <laughs> now, as long as Trevor handles the wife, we're good. But what about him, man? Yeah, fuck him. He likes the desert. Besides, we do one big score, we're all gonna have to go our own separate ways anyway. Oh, man. I can't wait to get back to that movie studio. <laughs> Yo, all right, man. Well, shit, I'll holler you later then, all right? 
What a shit show. I'll tell you what, you could take this desert and stick it. My life may be a world of pain, but from here on out, it's going to be cool, comfortable, air-conditioned pain. <laughs> take it easy. I had a wonderful time, Trevor, but we both know I made a vow to my husband. I know! You have a great pain inside you, but you are a beautiful man. I've never been so happy and so sad in my life. You have a beautiful way with words. Sorry, everyone I love abandons me. I am not abandoning you. I am going home. You treat you. I know. I know. No. Stay. You better treat her right, man! I will, amigo! The other wise... The other ear! Of course! The way I see things, you and me and Michael, we're, we're friends now. Good friends! Such good friends that we will make a great effort to avoid one another. That's fucking perfect. Uh, thank Michael for this statue. It is exquisite. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Hey, my G damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. Uh, please just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the F is that boy? No one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance did you catch crabs at that conference? Oh, my blood! I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Guy come in. Huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh, yeah, some serious corporate gangbanging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my, uh, my penis. I want you to leave now! <laughs> Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me. Okay? Now look, I love you and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together? Huh? You, you can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal. But in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good? Huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd. I told you. I've got a career. I don't need this, this, this crap! Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, Floyd. Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now. You and your weird friend. Whoa, hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck 
what your fucking name is! I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice! Trevor? <laughs> oh. mm, hey there, Wade. Did you meet Gebra? Ooh, interesting lady. Uh, I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car. All right? Let's go have the time of our lives. I know just the place. I could run in and get Floyd and Debra. I know she seems kind of uptight, but she can have fun. Mm, no, I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Floyd's trip? Exactly. Oh, Trevor, maybe you got all over yourself. You're all red. You got, you got syrup. Yeah! Syrup! Accidents! We've all been there! We sure have, but... But it don't taste like syrup! Don't taste me! Alright? Just... No licking! Okay. Hey! You remember when we met? Sure! Last year! I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell and Kush Chronic and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit and you met... That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw them, it was with you, driving out to the quarry, and then they just disappeared. Poof, right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now, Cousin Deborah don't want you... No! Don't want you around? I mean, there's a pattern here. The combo did get messy. The pattern is, you can't rely on anyone. Anyone except me. Look. This is it. So, this is where Floyd is gonna meet us at strip club? Oh, yeah. That's unlike him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here. Mm, right here. Here? Mm, here. Now, I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie. Hey, you, you two. You two, I want you to give this boy a good time for a long time. Hey, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner. Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah. I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taking over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentlemen's Club. All right. Message Franklin.
weren't still fixing computers for a living. When you gonna throw some work my way? Hey, if you're right for a project, I'll be in touch, okay? Okay, but don't forget about me. I need me some cardiac at the God plane that puts me to earth. What would hard. really turn me on is you wearing clown face. Hey. Come on, baby. Before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Meriwether, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. <laughs> so how'd you come by this place anyway? I've had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh... Anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The big one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But, but it'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. Temperature. Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit routes, general vibe. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground that's hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Hey, man, you might not notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group, from the way you and Trevor be acting. Ah, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me, though. No? Well, remind me to go over with you again sometime, but not now. Look, dawg, light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserve? Yeah, huh? Maybe we really are broke. Trevor, how are you doing? Uh, well, uh, I like clockwork. My
Mikey. Like clockwork. Calm the fuck down. You mentioned a uh, job before. Something we can help you with? I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obvious. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. What do you talk to Mike about? Oh, Shit! I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate. Do they call it a wasting disease because you waste people's time? Move it! I 
don't like being in close proximity to you for extended periods of time, and the same for short periods of time. Oh, there's ways to make minutes go by. Six inside. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro Tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that! Looking for a big asshole! They're doing construction down there, but it ain't a tunnel excavation. We'll keep looking. Here. 